Welcome back to the land down under. <laughs> G'day, I'm Stephen Spry and this is my not so historical recreation of the settlement of Australia from 1788, which is where we are now in Transport Fever 2. We're at Sydney Cove and in the last episode I set up, oh God, it was an intense, pun intended, joke. We set up all of these Bedouin tents to accommodate our 750 plus convicts and our 200 odd marines. Yep, my gosh, I made a blunder, huge blunder. Uh, this tent here is not the only tent available in Transport Fever 2. I forgot about the vanilla one. Duh! Never mind, all right, the other thing I wanted to tell you about was uh, I changed the hospital layout here. Uh, I didn't like it. It didn't compare favourably to what was on my uh, March 1788 map diagram. So I changed it, which is what you can do. Now, uh, the other thing that I've done, that previous episode had a lot of these small dirt roads being used as placeholders, right? Uh, I want to show you, bring up the UI, I want to show you what I've done to every road that's now on this map okay quite simply uh, it's a case of find the dirt that one road dirt that's an extra special asset that I downloaded uh, and go to that right and now hold the shift key down and just draw over the top of it all the way and what this is doing is putting a what looks to be a dirt track over the top of that road. Oh, that was a bit dodgy. Yeah, well, you get that. Now, let's have a look at the roads. We've been using, for those guidelines, this fellow, the ASOF Tiny Dirt Road. Yep. Uh, and what we need to use is these narrow is it or small no ownership uh, okay what are we doing medium narrow what are these um surely not <gasps> okay i thought you replaced them with invisible roads no oh you're you're um confusing yourself mate yeah i replaced them with three meter pedestrian footpaths this is another mod. Yeah. Okay. This one doesn't allow um, buildings on it. Right. Okay. So just magic one that. Boom. And done. And that's it. Right. So no carts can go along that, I gather, because it's pedestrians. That's right. Well, we don't have any, do we? I mean, we hardly have any horses. Look. These are the only horses we had, and, you know, half of them died very quickly, unfortunately. Really sad. Um, the, as far as the other animals are concerned, um, you know, we didn't have many cows either. They um, escaped. <laughs> and somewhere over here, 10, 20, 50 years later, it grew into a sizable herd. But uh, we lost them. Our sheep? Uh, yeah, well, okay. They were corralled here at night time on this um, rocky outcrop. And um, mm, we, we lost them, which is sad. So uh, we didn't have any normal transport for our goodies. As you can see, however, the convicts were out and about chopping wood down, uh, collecting stone. Yes, and over here... Uh, where were we back at the start? Yes, we're chopping a lot of wood down. We've been out collecting sticks so that we can build fences, right, around all of these gardens that we have to plant today. Oh, righto. Uh, and on the other side, on the other side, more gardens, right. And did I just see somebody... Oh, no, it's a shadow. I thought I saw somebody disappear into nowhere. That was a bird flying over. Uh, we've got to build residence for the governor, yes, the commissary, who's the guy in charge of all the supplies for the uh, settlement. 
We've got to build some stores to store stuff. Uh, got to build accommodation for the provost, who's the head uh, head of the police, right? Uh, and over here, uh, the judge, <laughs> yes, because convicts be, will be convicts, you know, as they are. Uh, but just in case they can be saved, we have a parson and the fellow that is going to survey everything and mark out our plans and so on has to live up here. So let's start with the surveyor. Uh, right next to the edge of the path, I think. Okay, where's that other tent? Right. This is not easy to find. Oh, good -o. Um It's in here. Yeah, see, tent. Right. Oh, good, okay. Oh. Well, I know what 47 is. I've used it so many times, I know its number now. That's the tree stumps. Right. So all got to do is find the tent. Yeah, well, you could go through these one at a time, but I have finally remembered that it's number 16. Thank God for that. Okay. Yeah, just plonk you down there. Now, the other thing we did, we put people in here, didn't we? So let's find our old bench and put residential. Not 50 people in this tent. No, that's far too many. 10 is the smallest we can do. Done. Beautiful. Okay, where's the parson? He was here. Right, tent, tent, tent. I just do that. Okay. Uh, and do the, um, what's his, who was he? Yeah, judge. Okay, and while we're here, put the tent in. The tent is not that one, it's that one. There are so many assets, packs that are available in this game. Trying to remember where they all came from, where they all come from, is damned hard. All right. Um, Provost, yeah, you can come over here. Okay, you need a person magnet, please. Going to have ten people living with you. Lucky man. <laughs> right. Okay, stores. Stores, 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 stores. Right now, we're going to erect some of our Bedouin tents for the stores. We'll be back a little bit later on in the episode once we've upgraded um, and collected, <clears throat> you know, imaginary, collected uh, a lot of timber and stuff. Uh, and our commissary, well, let's give him a slightly bigger tent and put him in that one. Right. Okay, back to the people magnet. Uh, commissary, he can have a residential one. Our stores, however, um, we might want people working on the industrial side. And the commercial, oh, bench outside. Yeah, don't like it. No. Let's put the bench under cover, please. Back to... Yeah, that's better. All right. What else we got? Uh, down here, a blacksmith over here. Oh, okay. Um, another Bedouin tent for the blacksmith. Sure, where was he? Uh, right in the middle. Okay. Um, put him in the shade, poor bloke. Be working so much. That will be an industrial for 10. Yeah, 10, 10's a good number. Okay. And over here, this was the grain store. Right. So a couple of tents, more Bedouins. Yeah, before you put them in, right, um, grab a path, that one, yep, and just bring it straight out because you've got to get to it somehow. Build anyway, good. Can we paint that so we can see where it was? That might be a good idea. Uh, paint tools. All right, just where, where did it go through there? Boom. All right. Um, let's knock that out. That might be enough. We'll see what happens. Once people start walking through there, we'll see whether we no or whether or not we need to widen that gate. Um, tents. 
I'll put the thing in first. Okay, I will put the thing being the person magnet. Okay, we're going to have one here. And again, we'll split them up in between commercial and industrial. Remember, these are just to tell the game where the people work or shop. So, that. Yep. And back to the Bedouin tent, please. This is our temporary accommodation for all of our stuff. Beautiful. Where's Phil going? Now, Phil will go here. We'll get to him in a sec. What I did remember was that I didn't put any convicts over here. So, residential, tens. All right. Uh, this was another section for the, for the ladies. We'll put another 30, 40, 50, 50 ladies over here. And more guys. One two, three, four, five, sixty, I'll make it seventy, come on, seventy, yep, okay, seventy male convicts there, mm-hmm, um, and the lieutenant governor, right, He's over here somewhere. Now, he's a military guy, so he'll get one of these tents. Oh, he doesn't get a white one? No. In fact, I'm going to give him the stripy one. Roger that. Where's the front of that? Uh, well, we'll give him the stripy side as the front. There's our lieutenant governor. And he can have ten people living there. My God. Well, he did come over with his family. I don't know how many children he had. He probably had four or five people all up there anyway. So it's not that much of a stretch. <laughs> uh, okay, good-o. Now, what have you forgotten? Oh, I've forgotten heaps. I've forgotten heaps. All right, <clears throat> I'm going to come up here because near these gardens, right, there were... Where is it? Um, that one. There were some water wells. Right. Okay, so we're going to... Um, with, with, let's say manual rail. Hang on. Manual rail. I'm, I'm sure these were sort of animated, but never mind. We'll just put a couple of water wells up here. They are probably exclusively for the farm. And there was another one, I believe, down near the baker. Right. Cool. Oh, oh, look, at that reel is going up and down. It's turning. Nice. Okay. No one's driving it. It's just doing it mysteriously. All right. Now, the other asset I wanted. Hmm. What's the baker need? He needs cooking stuff. Right. Not fences. That one. Now, the only reason I know this is because I spent 15 minutes searching for the damn thing um, last time. Campfire with smoke, please. Thank you. ta -da. It's meant to be an oven, but we don't have an outdoor oven. We only have campfires, so we'll use those. And this up here was the major cooking place. So we'll put a few campfires up here with another one ready to go. Okay. Right. Beautiful. Now, let's attend to these gardens. Right. How are you going to do that? All right. Let's see what paint we've got. Uh, paint, paint tools we have. We've got all of these from Ingo, which I'm not going to use for any farm because I have, eventually, well, we could use tobacco and coffee. No. Okay, all right. We could use these ones. Farmland hops, yes. Uh, small and large. We've got ploughed. We've got potatoes, small and large. We've got soil, smooth and rough. Oh, okay. And sugar beet, small and large. All right, well, let's have 
a whole heap of potatoes here, eh? Lots of spuds. Okay, all right. Just drop it in. Ooh. Lots of potatoes. Potatoes are a staple in your diet, so let's get them happening. Right. That's that set of gardens. What about up near the hospital? I think we should be growing sugar beet up here. Sure. Let's put that in. Right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Squeeze it in. Okay. All right. Now, you had more gardens. I did. Uh, up here. Right. Let's plough this. Oh. Just this section. Right. And there's a bit of rough soil here that needs to be ploughed. And a bit of smooth soil there. Yep, 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 yep. And then um, hops in the rest of it. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know if it's if it's hops. It could be anything. Right, okay. So, more potatoes. <laughs> you like your spuds. I do, actually. Um... I don't know. Spuds, 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 spuds. Lots of potatoes. Right. Now these gardens over here were not that brilliant. The yields from the crops were pretty crap. Oh. Yeah, I know. I these guys when they left England, they were supposed to have supplies for a couple of years once they got out here. You know, all the supplies, all the tools, all the food, all the resources, blah, 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 that they needed to establish this settlement and get it up and running. But, yeah, the but was it didn't quite work out that way. Yeah. Never does, does it? One of the problems they had, okay, uh, 750 people, but, you know, not many of them were skilled enough to actually know how to chop trees down. Oh, really? Or to convert it into lumber? Yeah. Or to farm the land? Or to, you know, chisel out nice chunks of sandstone to build stuff? Yeah, right. What was the other guy? Oh, this fella, blacksmith. Ooh, what's that lump? He's got a bit of a lump, hasn't he? Go away with you. That will be that thing doesn't want to play properly okay we'll do it again I shall Ingo's uh, tent Bedouin try it over this side in the sun fair enough put it there and then do your people magnet for the industry and see if we can avoid a lump that's better Yeah, so, they, I mean, they didn't have blacksmiths, carpenters, sawyers, stonemasons, um, farmers. They had a whole bunch of pretty much unskilled labourers. So, uh, that didn't help. Uh, but anyway, they worked around it and got over it. Okay, so we've got this happening. Um, and around about the, what was it, middle of February, which would be about now, I'd say, two weeks after... Yeah, it's about two weeks' work, I suppose. Uh, this ship, HMAT Supply, His Majesty's Arm Tender, uh, it took off with a group of convicts. Boom. To Norfolk Island. Uh, for those of you who want to know where Norfolk Island is, it's off the coast of Australia, over here somewhere in the Pacific. So why? Well, it took some convicts over there to set up a settlement. Because Captain Cook, a few years earlier, I think about 14 odd years earlier, described Norfolk Island as being uh, tall, tall, tall timbers for masts and spars, full of, full of um, Norfolk Island pines, I guess. And um, he, he surmised there was also lots of flax there, which would be very useful as well. It uh, turns out <coughs> he was wrong. Shh. 
it didn't quite work out as expected. But anyway, supplies off to go and do that. And we are still working hard over here. Now, up until now, Governor Phil, he's been living in one of these um, white tents on his plot of land. Uh, but I thought we'll give Phil something special. Right? Because one of the things we can use as a people magnet is the headquarters in the game. So let's give uh, Phil... Oh, oh, I hope that's in the right spot. Ah, looks like it could be. Hopefully the people are going to walk through the gate. Just got to tidy up the ground somewhat. And there we go, Phil. There's your governor's mansion. <laughs> um, yeah, no. Um, what did you set that up as? Uh, industrial. Oh, somebody's already coming into work. All right, well, give give um, bench old residential and just throw one of those in there and right click it so that we've got people coming in. Ooh, where are you going, mate? The door's not there. Okay. Right, he did a Hogwarts through the chimney. Ah, cool. Oh, look, Great Southern Land. <laughs> Oh dear, you're going to change, oh, alright, okay, um, the Great Sutherland Co, alright, what are we going to change it to, um, Sydney Co, yeah, alright, that'll do, thank you, that's much better, right, what else have we got to do, um, well, so our convicts are out and about, now they had trouble chopping stuff down as i said before they weren't experienced um uh timber getters but one of the reasons they had trouble was the quality of the iron in our tools was absolutely crap but anyway never mind that's mr blacksmith's job he's there to fix all of that sort of stuff would he have a fire he probably would you want him to you want to give him a fire too do you well, if you can find it easily, I know where it is now. All right, well, give him something to smoke with and we have a fire going there for the blacksmith. But next to him here, right, was a wharf. Oh, well, it's a bit awkward unloading ships, you know, by rowboat all the time. So let's build something. It was one of the earliest structures. Where is it? A uh, ship. Yes. Now, I'm using Ingo's small ports mod here um, just to make it look pretty. Certainly not accurate because this is going to show as a passenger port when it isn't. See? It's, it's a mixed port. But <coughs> just to, you know, we get a look, look on a feel happening, right. Okay, lose port. No, 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 no. This is Sydney Wharf. Right. Okay, a bit shallow, is it? Yeah, um, it'll do. <laughs> All right, uh, where are we? All right, okay, we already had... Um, I showed you these, but what I didn't do is I didn't assign any people to work over here, so... Back to the people magnets. Uh, this is industrial. So, do, 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 do. what? No, no, not streets. Don't want streets. You want... Oh. Try it again. This one. Okay. Now, we're out in the middle of nowhere here, so a bench isn't going to work. What else have we got? Lamps? No. Uh, hydrants? No. Fountains? No. Kiosk? Garden bench? Invisible. Azaleas? Shingle oak? Whoa. If you want to. Done. That's a people magnet. Right. What about up here? It's also industrial. Uh, shingle oak, cactus, date palm, granite, 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 cracked, sandstone, granite, cracked. We could just get everybody to go into a rock and work. 
Sure, can we have more people over here? We can. We'll do 20 over that one. These gardens weren't working. No, no. Uh, so uh, we went out in search of better land and discovered. Ah, hello. Discovered better land over here at the government farm, Farm Cove. And as you can see, we've got wheat and corn planted here now. Cornfield. Uh, wheat. Yep, 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 yep. So, just because of the mechanics of the game, I think we need to have uh, some people living over here or we'll never see any action. So, let's whack in a couple of convict style tents. Yep, 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 yep. How many? Oh. Three and throw some residential with 10 people rocks <laughs> no you goose all right back to the uh, old bench uh, one two three yep now these probably would have been our most trusted convicts uh, living all the way over here probably uh, but i think they still would have had one of these nearby. Keep an eye on them. Yeah, would have been some guards over here. Now we've got all of these fields and all of these people and no workers. Oh. So we need to get some people working in the fields. More people magnets. Yes, please. Okay, what else we got? Uh, that one, yep. All right, these will be industrial, and we'll make them 10. What type? Uh, we could use plants. No. We could use rocks. No. We could use another head. No. Barrels? Steel barrels? Uh, not really 18, uh, 1780s. Uh, fair enough. Um, container waste? No. Garden sunshade? No, no, no. Teepees? No. Market. Ooh. You could mix these up a bit, I suppose. You could have a market type stall in a couple of places. Wouldn't they be commercial? They probably would, actually. Right. Um, okay. But what we want really is industrial. Um, wagon, that's the fella you wanted It is too Look Let's just put uh, A cart down here And They will load it up and move it around Hey, that's, that's 10 How many people did we have? 30 uh, yeah, Okay 20 And 30, so we've got 1, 2, 3, and we've got 1, 2, 3, okay, we've got 30 people, 30 industries, 30 shopping places, they should be happy over here, nice, okay, we need more workers over here, okay, so you can, <coughs> 1, no, what happened? Uh, I don't know. One. Two. Where is it? It's gone. Oh, you press the down button, you goose. Oh, well, I can... Sorry, I can fix that. <coughs> Instead of pressing the spin, you press the down. Three. Did that connect to something? It connected to that. Okay, good. Four. Um, four. All right, can we go to the other one and do a couple of commercials? I don't think you've got enough industry ones, but we'll do a couple of commercials. All right, one, two. Yeah, all right. 
more commer- more industry, please. Wagons. Okay. Spin. Put it in the field. Click. Ah. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Uh, do another one here. Six. That'll do. And you've got two. more gardens. Did you do these? Nope. <coughs> okay, well. I don't want it connecting up. Oh, Fox, get out of there. How come you can go straight through a fence, Mr. Fox? I don't know. Click, okay, 10. How many workers? Um, 20. Let's have... Oh, you goose. Yeah, goose is right. I set that up wrong, didn't I? Configure industrial, right? Configure industrial. Okay, did that did that take? Hope so. Yes. <sighs> Industrial. So we'll have thirty people up here working and we'll have a couple of commercial outlets. That looks like a good spot for a commercial outlet there and there. While we're up this end of the world, yes. This path goes nowhere. Well, it goes somewhere. It goes... <clears throat> it goes to the observatory, which had a guard tower. Okay, guard tower, we know that one. That's this one, watchtower. Yep. So that can be there, and you can see why. It's the observatory. It had a great view all the way around basically for stuff coming in uh, so that's good and we need a building well another tent fair enough that's not a tent this is a tent we'll put the observatory people in here for now until we can build something better for them okay is this a commercial or an industrial I think it's industrial Trill. Let's go back to that and hide it. There. Good stuff. Done good. Done good. Now, um, guess who's back? Oh, who? Well, uh, supply has returned. So we're just going to anchor supply here for a little bit. Right. Uh, Bath Shipyard is the place where this tea clipper was built, apparently. So, here's <coughs> His Majesty's Armed Tender Supply. So, they've gone over to Norfolk Island and dropped the people off and since discovered that uh, life wasn't as rosy as Captain Cook thought over there, the timber wasn't all that great and the flax supplies that they thought were going to be there aren't, but... They just did discover a lot of great agricultural land. And Norfolk Island was actually going to become, for the next few years, um, <clears throat> a very essential supplier of foodstuffs for the Sydney colony. Yes. Because things weren't looking that crash hot. Uh, see, all that English stuff that they brought out to grow... Um, didn't want to. No. <laughs> Oops. Mm. Things weren't going to go quite the way they wanted them to. Now, mm. uh, in May, right, we had a few boats leave. Oh, okay. We had um, Lady Penryn, yeah. Bye, you left. Oh, okay. Charlotte, is that Charlotte? I hope so. Yes, Charlotte. Charlotte left, right. And what was the other one? Um, not that one. Scarborough. Scarborough. No, didn't confirm destruction. I'm just saying. 
farewell, au revoir, they took off to China, actually, to do some trading. One thing I forgot to mem- mem- remember, uh, the au revoir reminded me, one of the reasons that supply and the Admiralty wanted things happening over at Norfolk Island, they wanted to establish a presence in the Pacific to uh, <clears throat> dissuade the French, mainly, from um, colonising this part of the world. They thought, if we have a presence over there and here, because uh, in case you didn't know, when they were down in Botany Bay uh, around the 18th of January, you know, a few days before they got here, they ran into the French. Hello, they were just about to come in, so that's all very surprising. Australia, you could have been speaking. That's not the right accent. Where did you get that from? My God. Parlez-vous Francais? Mm, not at all. Not at all well. <laughs> but you could have been speaking French. Grain store. Yep, all right. How's it all going? I yeah, look, we've got... Oh, somebody's headed off to see the parson. Hello, Scarlett. You're off to see the parson. Somebody's going up to see the uh, Lucas, heading up to see the surveyor. Nice. Nice. We've got um, nobody working down here in the potato field. Well, you know what to do about that. <sighs> Let's find uh, the wagon. Yep, this is industrial. And let's get a few of these happening. Right. Uh, one there. Yep. I'm glad you didn't put it so that he was passing across the campfires there. That could have been ouchies. Yes. <laughs> it could have been. I did that in a test run and I thought, no, can't do that. And just another card here. And uh, right click. That's it. So why are you focusing on the surveyor's cottage there, Stephen? That's where Luca Wood lives. Or Luca would live. No, don't go there. And it was bad enough with your um, other joke. Yeah, about the intents. Yes, speaking of intents, uh, we've been here long enough now and we've collected enough timber. So it's time to um, replace these buildings and I think one of the first buildings that would have been replaced with something a little bit more what's this one no no don't want to go there um, something a little bit more um, substantial would be too much curvature seriously oh turn it Stephen come on turn it yeah, well, the good thing about the Build Anyway mod is that we can ignore all of that and just do that, and it'll still work. So we have buildings that are now a little bit more substantial that we can... Yeah, I'll turn the street off. Ah, that's probably what the problem off was. That's better. All right, let's position this so that those crates are inside the building, please. Beautiful. Nice. All right, more stores, buildings over here. They're not buildings, they're tents. I know. And we're going to replace them. Oh, sorry, man. Didn't mean to disturb. Oh, and madam. Didn't mean to disturb your work. Uh, what do you want to do here? I want to put them sort of like side by side. Oh, this could be interesting. They might actually walk through that path. Uh, I very much doubt it. But if I can marry those two buildings up... Yeah, that sort of works. So here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We're about the middle of May. So that's February, March, April, May. Four months. I think we've done well. We've got... Um, wood happening, we've got stone happening, we've got our gardens established, we've got our farm happening over there, uh, all the offices are housed, 
the governor's mansion. <laughs> oh, jeez. Can we replace that, please? Uh, next episode, we'll we'll get a bit more stone from over here and, and build a proper uh, house for the governor. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, we've got our cooking places in, uh, all our officers, the lieutenant governor, um, the commissary, the provost, the judge, the priest, the parson, the surveyor. Everybody's here. Get rid of that. Sure. There we go. How's that? Get rid of all of that because we don't really need it at this stage because they're not playing the game yet. When do we start playing the game? Well, at the moment, we're just tinkering around with various assets to try and recreate this little settlement. Oh, where are you going? She's going to just disappear into that to do work okay so yeah now this is a transport tycoon game right right we don't have many horses and half of them died anyway so we have to wait for more horses to be shipped out to the settlement on the second fleet and or the third fleet they came from Cape Town would you believe right and it wasn't really until the 18, I think, 20s or 30s, from what, it, what my reading showed me, that we started getting large enough quantities of horses into Australia. So until then, our transport system is in the game is going to be um, a bit sparse. Uh, I know we've got the early start mod on, but that's purely so that we could just build, I think, build and start developing. Um, next time around, we're heading up river. We're running out of food big time. And by November, in another five months, uh, things are getting critical, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, things are getting critical. The colony, I hate that word, the settlement, <laughs> Can't say colony anymore, can you, without getting into trouble? The settlement is in trouble with its food. Aha. Uh -huh. So that is what we're working on next time. And until then, well, it's Huru from me, and it's goodbye from him. We'll see you then. Okay, bye.